It's not going. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> if you want to hear how much fun we're having, make sure to subscribe to our Patreon at the five dollar and up level to uh, hear us pre-drink, because or the two dollar just for funsies. Yeah, you don't get pre-drink episodes, but you get our newsletter that Sonia works so hard to put out every week and a transcript of the episode as well as. New cocktail recipes every week. I didn't even know there was that many cocktails. So, There's, uh, I, just, I just like, okay, this sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure like I've made a lot of drinks in my life. I'm like, okay, this sounds like it's a drink. And then I give it a name. And like, if you listen to last week's episode, no, it's a few weeks. <laughs> weeks ahead. If you listen to the episode, Peeling Oranges and Eating Ass, uh, we have the drink for that week is citrus ingolingus. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I funding. love that. Yeah, no, super. I mean, hell, uh, my husband and I, uh, when we got married, we got to choose a cocktail and we just chose one that they already had and just changed the name. <laughs> like that's all we did. Name. That's what a lot of drinks nowadays are. It's just like that bartender's little t- kind of like change up of it, and it's pretty yeah. much the same as like thirty other drinks. Yeah, so, so that's what us opinionated luscious are doing. Um, <laughs> you don't, if you don't want me to know your drink recipe, lock that shit up. Just Put it behind a paywall because we yeah. don't got money. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> sometimes even with the paywalls, you can find it. Okay. Well, speaking of getting married to my husband, we have a guest for you guys tonight. <laughs> and that is... I wonder who it is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I hope I didn't give it away. <laughs> oh, my God. It's some. You're just like a whole different husband. You're like, oh, this is my new husband. My secret one. Nobody knows about. <laughs> well, now we're going to hard launch him. Here's my second <laughs> husband. Uh, no, but in all, re- in all reality, uh, we're bringing on the good husband, a Tepno. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I... Uh... I, I think I just like hit something under and then my screen just went dark. <laughs> I can't see oh, I'm just getting the message right now that says yeah. my screen stopped. Hang yeah. <laughs> I I kicked something under under okay, my so desk. You can't see us right now? <laughs> no, I no, my screen is like off. <laughs> okay. Do you want Thanks. time to fix it or do you want to yeah. do it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take take your time. This is great. Yeah, YouTube. I see the issue here. Hang <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> yeah. Hi, YouTube people. This is all gonna be cut. <laughs> Perfect. It's back on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. Repeat that. I can that, see dog. what's going on now. Uh, I was just gonna say, what are you drinking tonight, Jessica? I am drinking rum and coke that my fabulous husband got for me because. Mm-hmm. My daughter, our daughter, I guess. It's just yours. (laughs) (laughs) Went to the grocery store today. Oh, talking about our daughter, she's uh she's on the on the door. (laughs) 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 We'll be back. Okay. And then Don can ask her question. (laughs) What are you drinking? Well, let's wait, because I'll just cut this out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is just a YouTube exclusive. <laughs> it's funny because Chris is actually in the basement, so he just walked past me. Like I could go up, but <laughs> <Yeah, you're right. laughs> like bye. He has the monitor. He's on baby duty. I did the morning. I did the six a.m. shift, so he does the nine p.m. shift, and that's how we schedule things. Um... <laughs> he has more trouble. Yeah, well, he has more troubles with mornings. I, at night, need to, like, wind down or else I won't sleep. So, oh, my God. Now I have Ernest messaging me, my other kid. Uh, He asked, do we have any juices? So I just put, (laughs) check. (laughs) Yeah, like, go check. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Oh, It's not like he doesn't know. 
We do this every Friday. <laughs> well, sorry, guys. <laughs> the kids decided now was the time. Didn't bother me since seven. Yep. <clears throat> she probably just wanted like water or goldfish or something. This is what, now I'm what, back. What, what did she need? Wait, wait you're gonna have a. What did she, she need? A uh, gummy and roll up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, it was it was super urgent. <laughs> <laughs> she, well, she bangs on her door to get her attention. She's like, "Gummy yeah. roll up." Okay, 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 and we're back. Oh, okay, Sonia, what are you drinking tonight? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm having Sprite and rum okay nice. <laughs> you took a pause there and i was like you just put sprite in your water bottle like are you my, just making it look like you're drinking my brownie just <laughs> perfect timing like, the time like the timing of the world just like slow down <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah, yeah you got suddenly that. red yeah <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know when it, like, hits? Like, you're just like, whoa. Yeah, if yeah. you're watching this, pause it at the exact moment that you see the brownie hit Sonya. Yeah. Because, like, <laughs> like after, when, as soon as it hits, it hits, right? But then you can, like, adjust the new time you're facing. Like, I have to, like, reboot. <laughs> <laughs> turn it off, turn it on again. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. the words can work again. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, what are you drinking tonight? Uh, I'm drinking uh, Twisted Tea uh, oh. Raspberry. Ooh, fancy. He I buys Twisted a, Tea because he knows I don't like it. So it's right safe pack. to keep it. Yeah. <laughs> All for you. Yep. <laughs> I'm just drinking Coke. Just <laughs> Coke. Just Coke. I'm just drinking cup. rum and Coke. So kind of twinsies. Twins, the cousins at least, <laughs> yeah, like third cousins, <laughs> or just siblings. Like, we're not twinsies, we're just siblings, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're related, but half, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're not from like the same time in the same womb, that's all. We were in the same <laughs> womb different times, fair, fair. Yeah. If you want to put it that way, this <laughs> is a little intense, <laughs> but like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're going to spin our wheel, and hopefully it's a good topic. I always get nervous when we have a guest. <laughs> it's, Chris, it's fine. I yeah, it's fine. Good. You say worse things. Did I don't have to do this one. I just yeah. think it sounds boring. Okay, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's our podcast. It's our rules. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to talk about movies. Let's <laughs> talk about you. And what are we, a pop culture podcast? No. If you could Google anything in your life, what would it be? Okay. Well, like, you... like we could Google anything now. Google I was like, anything. we could Google in real life. <laughs> like, maybe before Google. Like that ask Jeeves. <laughs> yeah, like, this question is not making sense to me at no, all. Do I we mean, need I... to pick a third one? Because <laughs> we can literally Google anything. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what? So is... I don't. What am I? I can write like, do aliens exist? And I'll get some, you know. Oh my gosh! Some things I, yeah, saying I don't aliens know. exist, and some Google saying that. they don't. You know what the first post, if you Google, do aliens exist? It's the Washington Post, and it goes, what we actually know about aliens, according <laughs> to science. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, third time's the charm. <laughs> I obviously did some of these high. If they're not, maybe the next one. <laughs> oh, okay. this is a good one. Yeah, when you're bored, what do you usually do? Chris, would you like to go first? When I'm bored. I mean, I, it takes me a lot to get bored. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I always have something. 
So if I'm, you know, if if I'm looking after lyric, I'm, I usually still have my headphones on. I still listen to stuff or I, uh, you know, run around the house <laughs> to make sure she doesn't hurt a cat. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you don't, I don't have know. time to be bored. You always have I, like a task lined up, an interest lined up. Like I honestly don't remember the last time that I was bored. Maybe I get bored like when when you're in bed and you're trying to sleep, and then you're <laughs> that's bored how you sleep. You you're sleep. like, "Fuck, I'm bored." You yeah. shut down. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, this is boring. I'm trying to sleep and it's not working. <laughs> I'm just laying there. Like, yeah. I need to be doing something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to be swimming. Yep. <laughs> uh, I don't yeah. Know. Do you guys get bored? All Probably. the time. <laughs> yes. a, I'm bored right now, actually. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, I'm so <laughs> fucking bored. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I have a problem with like games because like I'll be playing a game and then like 10 minutes in, I'll be like, this isn't what I want to play. I'm bored. <laughs> and then I spend like so long trying to figure out what game will make me not bored that then it's bedtime. Yeah. You're just like <laughs> trying not to be bored. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Things just don't time. hit anymore. It's just. <laughs> That's you don't have time. You're tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's hard being excited, you know. Like it takes yeah. so much energy. Yeah. I can bring you some Vyvanse, and you can like help perk <laughs> you up. <laughs> I guess like um, when I'm bored, like that's what I do is I just try to get as much like stimulation as possible. So sometimes I'll play a game while watching a YouTube video, while on Discord, while talking to group chat, <laughs> while posting podcast things, while also checking my phone every once in a while for some reason, even though I'm on my computer. So yeah, I have to multitask like that too because like. I have to have, well, I, I, I already know I have ADHD, so maybe you do too. Um, I have like all these like tabs open. I have like a little computer. I have my notepad going. I have TV on. I just, <laughs> you just do so many things. Oh, when you're doing one thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's one main thing that I'm trying to do. And then all the other things are to keep me focused yeah. by distracting me. Yeah, there's a math to it. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> Are you having bored, Dumry? Yeah. I nap when I'm bored. I'm like, uh, like I don't want to like think of things to do. I'm just like, no, I'm just gonna go to sleep, and then I'll pass, and then I'll have something <laughs> to do when I wake up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my logic. Just sleep it out. You're like, oh, okay. I got. I'm waiting for the next task in life like to happen 50, like where i need to do something um then i'll like bake i'll look up a recipe randomly um and then i'll bake something i do that because yeah. i have to um, <laughs> <laughs> like oh i gotta like make bread um, you have to bake like, uh brownies brownies <laughs> what's yeah. funny though is kyle is the baker like he does all oh. our breads all our buns all the brownies um everything like that uh i don't i eat it like that <laughs> you're, yeah. you're doing your part that's right i make sure it doesn't go to waste uh like um there's this thing that i he has to make for me that's like our lifetime agreement um it's called <laughs> Pooh's breakfast lasagna and uh i waited like three years for this one because like we've always been too busy and uh, we had it yesterday because it was leap year and we have like dessert buffet and so it was like so good. It's like pound cake and waffles and pancakes and custard and fruit and pastry cream. I know. So I good. saw a picture. Yeah. So jealous. It's so, <laughs> so good. So you get high first and then you eat it, right? I don't know. No? It's, a, it's a sober eating. Um, I just, <laughs> it's just that good. <laughs> like, yeah, I just have to like savor it except for since I had COVID. Uh, it was not as good as it usually is. I was very sad. Um, I can't like food. Like sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's like oh, I can kind of taste it. But eh. 
It's not the best. I've thing. been having an issue where I'm eating something and halfway through it starts to taste like shit. So I have to stop <laughs> eating it. That sucks. Is that COVID? Did you get a <laughs> I don't you, know. COVID? And then you usually give it to me. Yeah. And then it. I'm like, I can't eat this anymore. And I give it to Chris. Literally That's everything. That's what you did yesterday. <laughs> That's what I Yeah. And I didn't finish my salad today because same thing happened. Like, I just like the taste changes in my mouth. I don't know. I think it's like lo- a long COVID symptom. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> long COVID. So uh, bad. So shitty. Um, Chris plays Apex. Do you yeah. play that when you're like bored? Like, is that how you stop being bored? Maybe I find I never get bored. I <laughs> usually <laughs> he just disagrees. <laughs> I usually just I play it. I play it, then I get song ideas, and then then I'm going back and forth between my uh my music software and Apex. And then sometimes I get distracted and, and I forget that I'm playing Apex. <laughs> so then I'm like working on something and then I didn't realize that the game had started and i'm like sorry guys i didn't realize (laughs) (laughs) it's just it's you're like no apex is a choice yep (laughs) like i'm not doing it because i'm bored it's a choice there's zero boredom because it's a choice no i I don't know if it's a choice i think it's an addiction It's (laughs) it's like damn I, I didn't play a good game. I need to get a better game next time. And then next time you play a great game, you're like, oh, my God. Like, maybe I'm I'm playing really good. Maybe I need to keep playing because I'm hitting my stride here. And <laughs> next thing you know, it's like two, two hours, three hours later. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, it's so late now. It sounds like a gambling addiction. It's yeah. like, oh, I lost this time, but next time I'm going to win. Yeah. <laughs> It's so hopeful. I mean, on TikTok, I've been watching like card opening uh, a lot. So, like, you know, one of those that your kids you give your kids like you're to watch YouTube and they're watching somebody else play a game. Yeah, yeah, you like that. Like you, you, I can go get cards and open them yourself. But you're like, no, I need to watch this. <laughs> yeah, I watch. I watch people open uh, sports cards and Pokemon cards and magic the gathering cards and and uh sometimes like i i join breaks for like sports breaks so i buy a team and then you get all the cards from that team and sometimes you get a lot of cards sometimes you don't get shit so (laughs) yeah now we're getting little card packages (laughs) it's a gambling addiction it's totally a gambling addiction and like where am i gonna sell those cards like am i gonna put them on ebay <laughs> we, have, like, we have cards here Kyle's dad gave to us to like oh, sell yeah? to get money. Um, and there's like a couple grand and stuff in it. And there's oh. like, where the fuck do we t- send this to? Like, yeah. like, you have to mail them off somewhere. Yeah, you need there's, to send them to PSA like to nobody grade them. Here. Yeah, <laughs> like you're just yeah. like, oh, we just have Wait, it. <laughs> tell them how much it costs to get a card graded. I think it's like, I think it's like 15 bucks per card. I thought it was like more. No. Okay. It, it, if it's like a higher price card, I think it's like twenty five bucks. Okay. But it's not. It's not super expensive. That's well, crazy I, expensive for one. I the card it's only yeah. twenty dollars. Yeah, it's like you spend fifty dollars just to find out the card is worth thirty. It's like okay. <laughs> And then you're well, going to sell it to someone that's going to buy it twenty five. But that's and... why you have to send the ones that are valuable. Usually Not numbered the $10 cards. Ones. Yeah. <laughs> they have to be numbered or else you don't send them. See, he knows or, all or rookie cards. <laughs> yeah. If rookie. it's a rookie card, I guess. So anyway, so that's what I've been doing on TikTok. Just <laughs> watching, <laughs> watching card opening and sometimes joining breaks. I think I think so far, I think I've spent like two hundred bucks on breaks. So I would say that's a lot of money already. <laughs> But now I'm like, now I'm like, okay, but I have to stop. So I've, I've kind of like totally stopped now. You are like credit cards in your freezer. Like, so you can't get to it. You're like, oh. Yep. <laughs> so PayPal yeah. PayPal information's not saved anymore. Because it's an addiction. It's like, yeah. I don't want to keep doing this. And like, sometimes you go on those TikTok lives and you see the same people like joining breaks <laughs> getting packs 
And it's like, I can only imagine the amount of money they're spending a month. Like they have to be spend spending like 2000, 3000 bucks a month. Cause I see them there all the time. And like they get those Disney uh, 100 packs that are only available in Europe. Those are like 40 bucks for one pack. <laughs> and like, I see them like getting like four packs, five packs. <laughs> This is what happens when your kids get allowance. Which is yeah. <laughs> well, I was just about to say, could you imagine if we didn't have to spend four grand a month on lyrics therapy? Yeah. You could take half of that and spend it on card breaks. Actually, it's it's three grand. It's three grand, grand that we're paying. Three grand. Sorry. But I mean, <laughs> like, still, still <laughs> <lost. laughs> like on, honestly, it's it's like so out of our financial means that i just had to ask my dad i was like okay like can you help us with that so he provides he provides money for that yeah oh, it is half yeah. yeah just because expenses are like oh yeah yeah, yeah. way yeah. too much well and it's so shitty it's because the oap waitlist is now like seventy thousand kids yeah. yeah, like it was like twenty thousand when Ford got into office, and now it's seventy thousand. <laughs> it's went, like there's no so services. I joined, <laughs> so I went and I joined OAP, and like it was at twenty five. Literally the following year, it jumped to fifty. Then, That's like yeah. six months that, after, yeah. it was fifty five kids, like fifty five thousand, and now it's at seventy thousand. Like within a year, doubled. Like, because he just yeah. got everyone really to get sad. their diagnosis, but now you're all on this program. Well, yeah, well, on it's like program. technically we're on the OAP. Yeah. Like, yeah. We got, we're on the website, everything. And so yeah, we, we don't get, number. yeah, we don't get core yet. So all we get is like certain programs. And you guys were around when Lyric was going to entry to school, the entry to school program, where they kicked her out of the center and then basically yeah. just took her to the park. Three times a week for like three yeah. minutes. <laughs> like that's because what they did. She couldn't get through the elevator. Like, yeah, she couldn't get inside. Yeah, she was screaming to like go inside. She couldn't get in the elevator and they wouldn't keep her. But now we're paying for it and getting the actual hours and attention we need. And uh, yeah. now she's she goes to therapy three hours yeah. by herself. She enjoys going there now somehow. Yeah. It's like <laughs> they great. know how to do their job, right? Like, yeah. What? <laughs> it just shows like, you know, the services people qualify for for low income end up it's, getting the least like the not the good care like the Yeah. Bare it's really care. sad. <laughs> it's really sad, honestly, like like you you look at the parking lot at the the autism place and it's like everyone drives a really nice yeah. suv so like that's mm -hmm. something i noticed like today especially you know they all have nice suv so it makes me think that they can afford like they can afford the care or who knows maybe they work at a company where they they get you know some oh, benefits insurance. <laughs> yeah insurance. but if you're working for yourself then you're screwed so yeah yeah like everything out of pocket you know dental especially um come on 2025 <laughs> yeah <laughs> medication yeah like i just got i i just got this uh one inhaler so i grabbed this inhaler i think it was like 175 yeah now they're <laughs> They're they're telling me oh and and I I go to the clinic two two days ago and then they're like we we need to change uh, inhalers for you so now I have another inhaler <laughs> <laughs> this one here and that's like a hundred bucks and you can take it eight times a day but like it like I feel like I'm I'm gonna empty it pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> you have to so, get another one. Yeah, Chris yeah. has been, we don't know exactly what it is, but like since he's been back from <laughs> his tour, um, it's not a cold or anything because yeah. we haven't caught anything. Yeah. And it's been weeks. <laughs> so it's it's just his cough. So I mean, I think today is the day I'm feeling a little bit better. You slept a lot today, though. <laughs> yeah. So that probably helped. <laughs> so. Yeah, but it's been weeks now, so. Yeah. Oh, well. 
It is. What it oh is. wow! <laughs> it does <laughs> such as life after yeah. COVID. <laughs> but like, yeah, the puffers are so expensive. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just choosing not to breathe. Like, yeah, I'm just choosing not to use my inhaler because I don't want to have to pay two seventy five. And it's like, so it's so uncomfortable if you have asthma. Like, <laughs> yes, you feel is. like you're just like gonna die because you can't catch your breath. Yeah. It's like breathing through a straw constantly. Yeah. Um, and then when you have a, the tiniest chest code, cold, yeah. it's like breathing through a straw on fire. Like it's it's so heavy all the time. It's yeah, yeah. Not fun. That's that's what it felt the whole yeah. tour. Oh, that like, sounds horrible. I, and he has to sing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the really bad part. I was uh I actually did a podcast entry for my own podcast. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Breathe, Be Happy. And I was talking about that where it's like you have to perform under crazy circumstances sometimes. And if you're singing, then it's even worse. If you're just like, I feel like if you're playing guitar, if you're playing drums, you can feel sick. But I mean, you're just, you know, you're playing an instrument. But if you're singing... <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to do a bunch of shows and you have to perform for for an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. Then it's really, really hard. And, it, you know, sometimes you're like, is it really worth it? <laughs> so <laughs> It's like you have to make sure that it pays well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you have to remember why you're doing it. You know, you're doing it to bring an income for your family, you know. And then you're yeah. also doing it for, you know, all the all the people and fans and whatnot who maybe uh, been waiting for years to see you perform or, you know, or maybe they, they had a really shitty week and they just want to go to a show to just like, you know, get the edge off and you're providing that for them. So it's and it's pretty important for people like, you know. Oh, yeah. We talk about music a lot on here and how much it like helps us sometimes. Yeah. So. yeah. And I, I feel like I don't know why, but the, the Canadian landscape to me doesn't feel like that. Like I can play a show here like we, we played mm -hmm. at the Horseshoe Tavern. I think there was like maybe 120 people. And like maybe yeah, it's not that many people. Like, I remember I perform in Indianapolis, which, I mean, I'm sure if people live who live in Indianapolis would say there's not a whole lot there. And there was like 450 people, 500 people. Like, was a just, lot. Yeah. they just wanted to have a good time. And yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, I don't know that I find like people in the US and other countries I, too, I find they, they just, they're really in party mode like <laughs> they're, they're never bored. bored yeah yeah, yeah that's what bored, i think so they go that's drink I and think. party i mean you know we went to london england and it's it's a party city like yeah oh people God, work hard but they party like hard piss. yeah people were people were pissing on the on the, on the buildings on the cobblestone and there's a lot cobblestone, so the pee seeps in yeah, and then it just smells. And then it just drips. It just <laughs> drips because, like, because, like, you know, everything's on an angle. Yeah. <laughs> Where are your rain boots when you're in London? <laughs> Pretty and much. That's any traveling advice you could give, it's wear your rain boots no matter what. <laughs> and there was a lot of guys in the bathroom that that were uh, snorting coke. Uh, yeah, that's a big thing in London. A lot, a lot of I'm Irish sure people. That's a big thing in a lot of countries. Like, yeah. yeah, Coke is a big thing. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of Irish again. people that were there just to drink. Like well, you could was... tell, you could tell who was Irish because they were they were like way past drunk. <laughs> they kept going. <laughs> well, it was so bad. Like we're walking around, we're trying to find you know somewhere to go. We don't know, and this person standing outside a bar was like no just come in we're having bogos on till like 9 p.m yeah. or something right and we're like okay we'll come in bogos for drinks yeah and it's a clown bar yeah 
<laughs> there's clowns everywhere, but there's also don't slap people's ass signs. It's not a joke. Yeah, it was like a consenting <laughs> so like, place. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's great. Good clowning around. And we go, and I'm like, what? They have a menu where all these drinks are the same price. So I was like, oh, Bogo, we'll just get two separate drinks. I asked yeah. what he wants, what I want. She makes two of each, and we get four of these giant They're like drinks. giant drinks. <laughs> <laughs> like, <okay. laughs> we're just like carrying them to our table <laughs> yes yeah, so i drink when i'm bored yeah yeah makes time go faster makes shit funnier <laughs> just like talking to your husband funnier was that the hint You're like oh man <laughs> drinking half the time i'm just talking to myself and i'm like damn this is good stuff <laughs> You should record yourself. <laughs> when I'm like, you, you need you yeah, need a hot does. mic all the time. Yeah, I'm like recording to keep all your the ideas. Time. She's like, I have this note, like this voice note in my phone. I don't know from what, but guys, listen. It's just <laughs> what is it? So she does. She does record herself. <laughs> I always say, if I die, go through my stuff. Like go yeah. through it. I want you guys to like experience. <laughs> experience. If anything happens, I get to come over and I'm going through Jessica's stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna your make TikTok stuff. Jessica's yeah. stuff. Yeah, this is my dead friend. Uh we're going through her computer today. <laughs> I'm respecting yep. her wishes, okay? She wanted me to do this. Yeah. <laughs> we're just still there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is my dead friend and like picked your body up. <laughs> I'm on life support in the background. Yep. <laughs> I was waiting for like the organ people to show up so they can unplug you. <laughs> Today we're going through her computer files. <laughs> I just carry her away, but like, bye, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Do it though, like, no joke. <laughs> I'm <laughs> totally make it content. Whatever gets the I bills will. paid, I will. I'm fucking do it. I'm giving you guys I permission. Don gets I... to go through my stuff. Yeah. So if anyone's like, oh, this is in bad taste, just like clip this. <laughs> just yeah. don't save it. Like, listen. This is what you wanted. <laughs> this is my final yeah. will and testament. Okay. Yeah. Go through my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what about while you're alive? Oh, no. Wait. In case okay. it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I might be embarrassed. Care, but like yeah. alive, she'll care because she's. I real. don't want to be cringe, but like if I'm dead, I get like a pass. You know, like no one's yeah. gonna be like, "Oh, this is really bad." No, they'll be like, oh, "You're dead, right?" So we can't. Yeah. Say yeah. They're like, "Oh, that'll make us an asshole." And they're like, "Oh, that's such a great way to celebrate your friend." Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be rude if they say anything else. Yeah, it's true. You know, especially if you post it right after I die, it's very recent. But, yeah, it, it'll be just a jury. It'll be a live, a TikTok live. Yeah. We'll get your yeah. a live stream my funeral. Just in case okay. my parents watch. They're not allowed, but they're allowed to watch the live stream. Like, they're not allowed to be okay. there. Can we, like, have a window? That. Like, uh, like, you know, like, they can watch through a window. <laughs> or... <laughs> just peeking out. Yeah. Okay, but only if we get a picture of that, because that's hilarious. <laughs> we'll wait until it's binoculars. Like, raining and pouring out. Like, well, we can't start yet. <laughs> wait. <laughs> there we go. The proper weather conditions. Man, I well, wish I could be there. <laughs> that sounds yeah. so fun. You just want to be Yeah. This, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> but you know. Yeah, <laughs> you are there. Your body's there. Yeah. Melting away, whatever happens. What is it? I want to be mulched. So technically, you're just going to look at a pile of dirt. Can unless you take... have like a wake. Yeah, no. It's like <laughs> so much mulch. So you could all get like a little baggie of soil. Y'all can nice. have a little piece of me. 
I got a whole thing put in my garden. Yeah. Like you can help fertilize all the plants. <laughs> You'll be like, here's Jessica's <laughs> zucchinis. <laughs> yeah. I'll have a garden garden for you. It'll be perfect. Here's the marijuana plant. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God yes. <laughs> I'm already half marijuana already. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh. It's going to be the best strain ever. Right? Yeah. It'll be like super forest. Yeah. Everyone will demand the Jessica, and I'll be like, only I got it. Yeah. That's a lot of weed. <laughs> they make so much. We only had one plant last time, and it made, like, so much, too much. <laughs> yeah, it's because your plant's, like, the size of four plants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so much weed. Yeah, I want to grow eventually, but first I have to do my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. You can, like, do it in your house. That's where mine is. We don't have space in our house. Yeah. You can wait until your yard outside's done. Yeah. <laughs> That's like <laughs> all tented up. Like a little greenhouse? Yeah. That'd be yeah. cute. You know what you should do? You should contact Backyard Builds on HDTV. Oh, I, love I you knew a guy. <laughs> No, no, it's not anybody I know, but like I, uh, my like client is obsessed with this show, and oh, now yeah. I have become obsessed with this show because like I'm only there for social visits. And I was like, I need to watch this show all the time. So now I need you to meet them. So when they come to your yard, I will fly over and like <laughs> stare at them with binoculars and watch. <laughs> you could just, we'll just say that you're like my sister and you live in the house temporarily. Okay, to meet them. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> what are they going to do? Fact visiting. check? Right? Like, just we have the truth to be like, my friend's visiting. No, we have a pot. Well, then they'd be like, she can't be on set. But that'd be like, she lives she here. She came all the way from yeah. New Brunswick. She's damn right she's going to be here. <laughs> Chris used to watch a lot of like house sale shows. Yeah. We used to, what was that million dollar? What was the LA one we used to watch? Um, Sunset? Wait, was it? I mean, they're selling Sunset. Yeah, that's, that's one, one of, of them. But I don't know. We were watching Million Dollar Listing LA. Yes. That's yeah. the one we were watching. <laughs> yeah. So many nice houses on there. That we'll never afford. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some million dollars and it's like a tiny house. <laughs> yeah. The thing I is, it's like, yeah, well, that's the thing. I was like, a 1.1, like, it would be like 1.2, of course, US million dollars like, oh, there. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. And then we come here and it's like 1.2 million dollars Canadian for yeah. like a shack to, or a to live, spot. To live in Canada <laughs> yeah. when the, yeah. where the weather is awful. I mean, yeah, I would say it's safer to live here in Canada than to live in L.A. Like, you know, you can get shot in L.A. I mean, you can still get shot here, but I would say I there's a lot less people here. with guns. <laughs> but yeah. The, yeah, the chances are a lot lower. than. <laughs> yeah, like, like, you know, they announce like murders here, but it's pretty rare. Yeah. There's yeah. so many there's so many people with guns even in in LA and people getting murdered and they don't always talk about it because it happens so often a lot of they don't want to yeah. <laughs> yeah in communist like california the there's been 11 deaths uh so yeah 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 that's the thing is yeah the especially because like our entire country is the population of california yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. like my province it's like Hamilton. Like yeah, that's yeah, like, exactly. It's one city. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's not even a big city. <laughs> yeah, so the more people, <laughs> the more crime, and then as poverty gets worse, the more crime. I mean, we yeah. went to California, and like homelessness is rampant there because a lot yeah. of homeless people will travel states because the weather is good there and it's touristy which obviously if you can't afford a house outdoor weather and tourists is the best way you're going to eat and sleep so yeah. yeah you go to california which is totally fair but yeah you see that a lot there and we also watch the show uh lottery dream home i see that <laughs> too yeah, yeah i've i guy. think I we've that. watched every episode 
like yeah. yeah we've watched it on like discovery plus so we watch a lot of reality tv yeah. <laughs> he loves it so it's <laughs> fine <laughs> yeah you know like love is blind right now that's kind of there's, hard to to avoid there's like Just, on the internet right now they're like making fun of this girl because she doesn't look like megan fox she does like, though she looks yeah. a little bit yeah she just looks like a wish version jimmy yeah, doesn't Kelsey. look good he no, looks yeah. like bobby hill yeah that's what i mean like i don't know why he's complaining like she's i know still out he of doesn't look like a whole lot <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he should be happy he's getting anything at this point yeah but then and we two... oh, oh i was gonna say then we realize that he has two friends like that he's been hanging out for two years but they're two women so that's kind of that's a bit awkward there because i mean i don't know maybe they're maybe he's sleeping with them that he works with and and maybe he talks day. shit maybe he yeah. talks so much shit about his uh fiance so okay. who knows i just want to say to be fair to chelsea she said and i quote uh my friends think i look like machine gun kelly's girlfriend yeah mgk's yeah. girlfriend but i don't see it except for in maybe the eyes and the lips yeah mm -hmm. so she like people just exaggerated like yes and you and you know if she was thinner jimmy would have been fine with it yeah is she not i mean already? i think she's thin she's She's thin, <laughs> I but think she's, she's, thin. She, she's not Hollywood Megan thin. Fox thin. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's not Megan Fox thin. She's curvy. Oh, and so I, she's not like anorexic? <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. She's not, <laughs> like you know. Yeah. Right. And I think because of that, it's like he was expect. Like, I feel like her face didn't need to look like Megan Fox. If her body did, he would have been happy. But because yeah. her face kind of looks like Megan Fox and her body doesn't, that that's where I came from. And also like the audacity of this man to be like a strong four and think he deserves a Megan Fox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know. I don't get it. I mean, when he it's was like the same type of guy though, who thinks they deserve, like it's a really yeah. gross four with like really bad ideals towards women who think they get like the Megan Foxes and the other ones i can't think of any other actress name because the only one on my brain right now <laughs> is Megan Megan Fox. Fox, but so like, like apparently she is uh and she has weird studio, thumbs so you can be hot as megan fox and still have a weird body part just remember I, that. I don't even think megan fox looks hot anymore she had so much plastic surgery and i don't know she just i don't know what happened <laughs> after her her divorce there she just became a different person we don't hear about her kids anymore. <laughs> I don't even know yeah. if she sees her kids. That's what, that's what I always like. Did she just like give them to the other guy? Like, yeah. Just, like, fucked right the, the guy from uh, 90210. 90210. Yeah. The guy whose storyline in 90210 is he cheats on like his uh, virgin like fiance with his music A&R. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. I remember that part. Yeah. So I thought always thought that was funny, but yeah, I just think people are being so much ruder to the women in that than they are to the men, considering Jeremy comes in. He applied to Love is Blind when he was engaged. Yeah. Uh, the other guy who had a girlfriend who knew he was going to be on the show. Yeah. Oh, and he was texting her like they have that text thread. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like this. Fuck Not it, just it, that. He was blackmailing her too. Yeah, he was threatening to send. He was threatening yeah. if she came out that he was gonna post like pictures that he has of her. He was gonna put like <laughs> revealing pictures, revenge or videos, porn. or something. Yeah, Which like is revenge legal. porn. Revenge and he porn was the good legal. guy. Like that's the thing. Like everyone was rooting for him and was like, "Why did Chelsea pick Jimmy? She could have picked this guy." Then it turns out this guy is a fucking douche canoe jeremy cheats on his fiance on the show yeah. while yes, leaving his other thing. fiance to be on the show and his other fiance had a kid so he was like almost a stepdaddy um yeah so like but people go after the women and oh and clay 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 every scene i've never met a man who doesn't cheat 
<laughs> I don't know anyone. <laughs> my dad, he was a good father, but damn, did he cheat on my mom. <laughs> Yeah, every scene, and like I'm like you're, he, he's just like warning you, like that's what that yeah. is, Ad, and Ad's like the hottest one there. So I'm like, damn girl, like you're stuck with him. <laughs> I think she's just like, you know, staying with him to stay on the show. Yeah, they, I don't think they she wants to be bonus. with that guy. They get a bonus if they make it to the yeah. altar. They don't have to get married. They just gotta yeah. make it to the altar for good TV. So I think she's Plus, just in it for the bonus. Plus, I mean, you can get on Cameo after, can make some money that way. So, See, this knows? is what we do as a couple when we're bored. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we talk about love is blind drama. <laughs> you know, so that's why I'm never bored. There's always something going on. <laughs> You're always doing something. I'm like, I can't wait until I'm bored. Um, but like, I if I'm bored at something, I'm like, oh, I'm kind of bored. I do, I do lists. Like, yeah, just whatever to do's to want uh, decorating ideas, rest uh, blah, recipes I want to learn. And then then I find something to do. Usually writing the list is like, oh, now I'm doing something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like the in between. It's like you're bored. So you find a task to keep you unbored enough until you find something to do that you're not bored doing. Yeah, it's like when you're snacking, you have the snack while you look for a snack. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I I find like a lot TikTok has made it so I don't feel bored as much. <laughs> You're watching a lot of TikTok. You and Dom Ray both. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> it's like I'm like what? Like here, I'm at my desk, and I'm like the bathroom is just right outside the door, and I'm like, oh, I have to pee, so I grab my phone, open TikTok, and I walk out and scroll through a couple TikToks while I'm going pee, and come back, and I put my phone down back on my computer. Didn't have to have any minute of rest. I mean, I do the same <laughs> when I go to the bathroom. Just bring your TikTok. Yeah. I'm, I usually I actually don't do that. That's the one thing I don't do. I do not bring my phone to the bathroom. I just leave it and I go and I come back to it. But what do you do when you're shit and you're bored? Do you just read the shampoo bottles? I just yeah, I guess. I just I don't do anything. She I just, just like, contemplates <laughs> life while she's shitting. Yeah. She's just like, oh man. <laughs> for dinner today. Yeah. Like, <laughs> while you're shitting you're like man i could really go for meatballs <laughs> <laughs> i really need to book that dentist appointment like, you, know, like <laughs> you just like relaxed i mine's just like okay i'll have kyle on speed dial just in case <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this whole thing. <laughs> Like I have like a cold cloth compress. I just like <laughs> for poop madness. Oh man, it's you know the days that I don't, I like message them. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like guys, I didn't almost pass out today. Like I just... poop without pain. <laughs> so I just like the small victories. <laughs> I gotta celebrate the wins. For me, it's like I have to have three practice poops before I actually go. So it's like, oh, I think I have to go. I sit. No, no. not yet. <laughs> <laughs> See, Chris, Chris, can I talk about your bowel movements? Sure. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> uh, I just want to ask because <laughs> it's more like Chris will be like, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom and then I'm going to hop in the shower. The shower doesn't start for 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll, then I'll hear a flush. I'm like, I thought he was already showered by now. No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, sometimes you need to just sit there and wait. You like. Yeah, exactly. Not just... 40 minutes. That's bad I'm for your at... bowels. It I'm good at wasting your, time. Your thing. There. The doctor's saying don't sit on the toilet for more than 15 minutes to 20 minutes at well, a time. At the wow. Most. Sometimes it takes that long to like start do you <laughs> use a um the squatty potty thing? yeah squatty yeah. potty okay yeah. if you use, use squatty potty it, it reduces risk so i use everything to help i'm just calming music <laughs> like it's like, 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 like a candle because like because sometimes it causes stress and then anxiety also and i'm like okay like just calm down 
calm down because then you can't go and then the pain hurts more like it's just you need to be zen or nothing's going to happen like, um just, uh, weird tip um i only learned this uh being a birth doula but in order to re- relax your orifices aka your both your vaginal opening and your anal opening if you loosen your lips up here it helps so a lot of the times you go <laughs> wait so, and it loosens your anus <laughs> but that's how i do my vocal warm ups <laughs> do you poop before a show <laughs> yeah <laughs> well yeah cuz i i don't want I don't want it to happen where I'm performing and I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like when I like I remember being in labor and I was just like getting stressed because I was at home because I thought that was a good idea. And I was like (laughs) just trying to loosen my (laughs) anus, you know, it just helps. That's what the cow like come in and be like, what the fuck is happening? I'm just relaxing my anus. (laughs) (laughs) I'm having a moment. You get like those candles out. Yep. Get yeah. Yeah. The perfect yep. scent. There's like a nature CD, just like where it's like, ding. Like you have it like on spa days. <laughs> Some running water. <laughs> yeah. So if you are an intestine doctor, uh, if you want to come on our show, we're still <laughs> looking for someone. We're still looking. We really want to do a poop episode with a professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far we just have my experiences, which I don't, sometimes are funny, but they're sad. <laughs> <laughs> Not certified in poop yet. So. Yeah, like just because I live it doesn't mean I know about it. Like that's the problem. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's I'm never bored. I'm stressed about. The not knowing things. <laughs> I love how stress makes it so like it's hard to get bored because you feel like you always have to be doing something. Exactly. Yeah, like... Maybe that's why I'm never bored because I'm always stressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> I feel like yeah. I'm not doing enough. I can't get <laughs> relaxed enough. Stuff. Yeah, to be bored. I can't. No, yeah. I yeah. The way my like GAD works, like. Uh, I have to do something always or like the like OCD gremlins are like rah, 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 rah. quick <laughs> think dark thoughts. So like I have to like always be busy. Don't give that brain time to do anything. Even like when I'm trying to sleep, I have to think of things constantly until my body just like shuts down. I do the same thing. I close my eyes and I just like hallucinate until I'm eventually actually dreaming. I yeah. do the opposite. <laughs> I just try, try to, to shut my up. brain off. Yeah, I do the opposite. Hard. I try to like quiet, like it has to be dark and like super quiet. That's how I sleep. Like a vampire. Like it, it just Yeah, that's usually black. how I try to sleep. Except when it's with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I have to have the TV okay. on. I have to have the TV on. on. <laughs> Being married is a compromise. (laughs) Yeah, we have the lights off, TV on, no cats, which I compromised on. (laughs) That's pretty good. So, yeah, but we we have the TV on. I tell him he can pick the show. I'm not even picky. Just have it on until I'm asleep. Yeah. And if I wake up at 5 a.m. and decide I need TV on, well, it's going to go back on. That's just how it works. Yeah. Yeah, ours <laughs> it stays on until I'm asleep and Kyle turns it off. Like that's yeah. really like, yeah, turns it yeah. on. And then he's like, I like I start snoring and then he turns it off. And then sometimes I'm like, I'm not sleeping. And he's like, You're a fucking liar. I can hear you snoring. You're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm big spoon in bed, so Yeah. <laughs> we we don't even so there's like I have a king size bed. I have a pillow nest I sleep in on one side, which is like a pregnancy pillow and other pillows like I'm yeah. thing. And then he sleeps on the other bed, like other half of the bed, and we don't even share blankets. Oh. Like there is so no you have separate blankets? 
separate blankets, separate areas of the bed. There is no touching. You're not allowed to meet in the middle. I don't sleep in the same bed as my husband. <laughs> I'm like, I'm upstairs. He's in the basement. It's great. So you guys probably sleep like perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> not me. <laughs> No, we we are always touching, but it's like after yeah. cuddling, it's our feet. So like, yeah, we sleep like a triangle almost, where it's like our feet are together, but the rest of us is at the end of the bed. Yeah, <laughs> no, I cannot. No, fuck off. No, no. <laughs> but then I okay, I I will admit I do snore sometimes. Yeah, but I snore too. Not in really the same badly, level probably. That he snores. Yeah, I Every probably once in need. A while. Like I need like a CPAP machine. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> men not treating their sleep apnea. Yeah, I, I think Kyle has it. Too. Like he'll be sleeping, and then like he snores so loud, and then there's nothing, and then there's like <laughs> like that. Yeah, <laughs> yes! that's, I'm like, did he that's die? Him almost dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit! You just almost died there. And he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> i feel like most men okay go back to death yeah <laughs> most men sleep like dying victorian children they just... <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> that's exactly what they look like i yep. don't understand it because here i am half asleep in case someone needs me <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's same but like it's, literally it's always the same position too and they can do it sitting all of a sudden it's <laughs> and then like the older a man gets it's the easier it just happens quicker and quicker like <laughs> until you're falling asleep before you sit like, down the mid-sentence they're talking to you and then they're just out like yeah <laughs> guys i'm watching tv i'm watching this movie i swear <laughs> like, <laughs> just oh man how does it feel to be a man Chris? <laughs> <laughs> oh it feels great the ba basically the whole world was designed for me. Yeah. So, especially, we'll it in. We'll especially it in. since I'm white, like yeah. everything <laughs> is so much easier. I would say, uh, except you're left-handed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Too. Like that far, I had this conversation with Kyle recently. Things used to be for left-handed people, but then now they're for both hands. Like it used yeah. to. Be long time ago only left and right things and now everything even scissors are both hands yeah. yeah i was like when did that transition happen and why didn't i notice it happening like, just... they're trying to be inclusive <laughs> yeah, i didn't notice when it happened <laughs> <laughs> except like, like can openers though can openers they're not like you have well, to the, buy the a left-handed huh there's the top ones yeah yeah. Like, yeah and then do 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 it doesn't matter which way but like i tried the other day i couldn't do it yeah it's because so, we have the side one yeah so i oh, had to ask you to do are, it yeah so you gotta upgrade yeah. come to the century <laughs> 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 we need a leftorium you know one yeah <laughs> left <laughs> behandy <laughs> stores yep uh well we're coming up on the hour so i guess we learned that none of us get bored we have too much stuff to do. <laughs> never <laughs> bored. That's why we are never bored. <laughs> yeah. Well, I Constantly. wonder if uh, some people's answers to like what they do when they're bored is listening to our podcast. If that's well, you, let that, us know. I mean, I listen to your podcast. It, you know, if I'm if I'm looking after a uh, lyric or if I'm touring, you know. Yeah, I guess I guess I get bored waiting for a plane to go or so I guess yeah, I get bored. But still you're always moving, so So traveling, that's yeah. your limit. If I'm traveling, I usually listen to your podcast. When or if I'm if I'm here <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if I'm here uh, you know, around lyric and I usually uh listen to the podcast. Yeah, and he lets me know every time. He's like, yeah. I listened to the, this week's episode. I'm like, what do you think? He's like, oh, it's good. Yeah, that's, 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 that's it. it. Any comment? Yeah. No, it's good. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> okay, if you want to use this opportunity to uh, plug 
your stuff, your music, your podcast? Um, well, you you can see it here on uh Yeah, but only on YouTube, YouTube can see it. Yeah. Not our listeners. So I guess you can go on my website, tepno.com, T E P N O dot com or any streaming platform, uh T E P space N O. And uh yeah, I'm I'm going on another tour there called the Bigger Than God tour. And I'm shoot probably shooting a music video for my song Bigger Than God very soon. So so uh yeah, it's gonna be uh on YouTube, probably uh, on uh because now you can watch uh, music videos on Spotify too. So yeah, nice. So yeah, that's that's about it, really. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it i'm doing all these things but that's i think not, i have one it. i have one canadian date i think and it's vancouver <laughs> ah, i can't even go <laughs> yeah there's not like a. I. i mean i i don't remember but i don't think there's a toronto date for don't even remember your that. own tour you're just no. like i don't even know where i'm going i, <laughs> I just show I, up i'm going to go and i show up Honestly, I was on tour like my last tour. I didn't know where I was going next. I was just looking at my uh, my Expedia app. And then I was like, oh, okay, I have to fly there. And sometimes I would go on uh, the other group's uh, Spotify to know which venue <laughs> I was performing at. <laughs> or, or my Spotify. Like, like where, I would go on my Spotify. Because like. I'm looking at my Spotify now and like I can see all the venues, but like if if you're doing uh eight eight shows in a row, nine shows in a row, you don't know where you're going anymore. <laughs> and then you're just like, well, <laughs> and people ask, oh, where have you been? And I'm like, I'm trying to think in my head, okay, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. And then they're like, oh my God, you've been like a at a lot of places i'm like i guess <laughs> yeah, like, okay he puts in the calendar chris show yeah so i'm in the calendar and i'm like i don't know where he is he's yeah. just performing just tonight <laughs> i guess <laughs> <laughs> well you know i'm going in i'm going to vegas on the 29th uh this month of march yeah yeah so at least you know that i'm going there <laughs> what <place>? oh. <laughs> <laughs> just doing a quick show in vegas then coming back home you know it's probably going to be a lot of people the show show pays well um it's vegas you know you go and gamble a little bit not some too much but... you're gonna go, yeah. buy, some yeah. some cards. <laughs> gonna buy all the yeah buy all the sports cards <laughs> go to the pawn shops <laughs> yeah actually we went to the pawn shop once uh the <laughs> The what is it called from Pawn Star? Pawn Stars, yeah. Yeah, we went there once. It was it was fun. It it was it was it was small. Yeah, it was very small. It wasn't worth the twelve dollar Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. They had then the we Pawn went... Mall next door, and then everything we went was to the... shut down. Yeah. <laughs> pawn World's not doing very well. No. And then we went to the Vegas Mall not after. Better. Yeah. Yeah. To eat at uh, California Pizza Kitchen. Which is pretty good. Vegas but is we did, fun. We did a few things in Vegas. Well, the opinion I mean, is Lush has also went to things. Vegas. Yeah, you guys <laughs> did a few things a when you ago. went there. Oh my god, it was so long. So ago. long. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> at least this October we're getting together again. Yes. Yeah. We'll yeah, be going to heard. Kentucky. Yeah. Books and bourbon, spooky sorore. That's really uh, so nice. Kentucky is yeah. really nice. He would know. Yeah. <laughs> I I passed by there with the Greyhound bus. <laughs> Did <'cause>, he? <laughs> yeah. Because I, I was doing, I can't remember where, but we just passed uh, through Kentucky, went to, I think, Sonora, uh, Kentucky, and... Uh, then I think uh, we ended in Indianapolis so I could do my show there. But yeah, it's it's nice. It reminds me a lot of, um, you know, here a little bit, you know, lots of trees, lots of 
you know, it's nice. That's it's, good. I will take yeah. lots of pictures and show you while you're looking after the children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And uh, hopefully my parents can, like, maybe <laughs> take lyrics yeah. for a day or two. That'd be <laughs> nice. That'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to thank our VIP Patreon, Stephanie Hurst, once again for hanging in there. <laughs> and being <laughs> being our VIP Patreon, uh, we'll meet her in person eventually. But uh, for listeners out there, check out our books and booze series. Uh, we just released. Uh, by the time this episode comes out, a couple episodes um, finishing off season two. We do have an episode with Stephanie, so check that out. Uh, you know, supports us. Follow Dawn on her TikTok if you want more book related news. <laughs> for book related news <laughs> <laughs> at seven <laughs> and uh and yeah thank you so much to my husband the good husband tepno for coming on my podcast i appreciate it you're <laughs> thank welcome you, it's a pleasure thank you yeah <laughs> thank you we need to have like maybe all the husbands on yeah one day that would be drinking awesome. game. <gasps> to play snakes i love to play snakes <laughs> You know, just Woo! get them for like 30 minutes max. Father's Day. Episode. Yeah. Dude, doable. There we go. We just have to like <laughs> drug Dave to get him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We have we'll like audio it. of him talking about swinging his dick. So, video slash So, that's a start. Be enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he doesn't come on, I'll just play the whatever sound he was making in the background. Oh, constantly <laughs> like every time it goes to dave i'll just play that sound so <laughs> yeah so he'll have to uh, yeah so he needs to be there now <laughs> yeah. uh and yeah and we'll see you all next week all right good, good night, night. bye